come to church. I I can't hear. Tell them again. Nice. My name is Elishama Kiprotish. I'm in grade five and I'm 11 years old and I'm going to be the speaker of the day. Our topic of today is the good news from the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 10 to 11. And the Bible says, and the angel said, do not be afraid for I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Now the birth of Jesus Christ is good news. Good news is meant to be celebrated. When you hear your child or your, or your daughter or son has given birth to a child who's your grandchild, you'll celebrate. And right now we are in the season of World Cup. We are supporting different teams, Argentina, Brazil, France, uh, Australia, and many others I could talk about. I personally am supporting Argentina. When you hear your team when you hear a team has just won, you, you'll celebrate and say, yes, my team has won. And if your child has passed KCPE and KCSE, they, you'll have to celebrate because you'll be happy and you'll feel that joy. But remember, good news is not good news to everybody. But the good news I'm talking about today is for all people. The angels say the news of Jesus' birth will cause great joy for all people. People around the world will be glad for this occasion. We celebrate Christmas because a savior has been born to us. He is the Messiah, the Lord. In celebrating Christmas, we celebrate the Savior because we needed deliverance. Deliverance from stealing, cheating, murdering, killing, even lying, and even homosexuality and, poly, and politics, and even corruption. In celebrating Christmas, we celebrate the love of God. Christmas is all about God coming down to save us. God did not stay in heaven while we were in hopeless situations. We celebrate Christmas because it was at Christmas time that the Savior came to save us from the hopeless situations we were in. God did not stay in heaven. He came down where we are. Can you just imagine how heaven is wonderful? And he sacrificed his one and only son to come here and save us. Here on earth. The great joy of Christmas comes through receiving God's gift of the Savior, Christ the Lord. Even if you haven't received Christ as your Savior, you may have some good feelings at this season. It is a wonderful time of the year. It's always good to be with family and friends, to enjoy good food and exchange gifts. For us children, we are expecting good gifts from our parents. Others are expecting nice dresses, nice bicycles, 
nice shirts, nice trousers, even nice shoes. But I'm talking about something different. Something deeper. The true joy of Christmas lasts all year long. Church, the true joy of Christmas is not opaque. <laughs> the true joy of Christmas is internal. It is the abiding joy of knowing for certain that things are right between you and God. When you know things are right between you and God, you'll have that true abiding joy. That kind of lasting joy comes only to the one who has personally received God's gift of the Savior. The one who has personally received God's gift of the Savior has lasting joy. Good news is only good if it is true. Suppose I told you you have won one million Kenya shillings. Only after two seconds I tell you I was just kidding. <laughs> that will not be true. The news about the Savior brings great joy because it is good news for sinners. It is good news for the poor. It is good news for the rich. It is good news for the pastors. It is good news for the teachers. It is even good news for the lawyers and judges. The good news about the Savior is for all people. It is for different continents like Africa. It is for different countries like Australia, America, England, France, and all the nations. A gift only brings joy if it is received. The word may give you superficial happiness, but it won't last. You may have money, but you'll spend it all in a nightclub drinking with friends. And in the morning when you wake up, you'll start frustrated because you've lost all your money and it's not lasting. The only way to know the deep abiding joy God wants you to have is to be reconciled to him by receiving his gift. The Savior who is Christ the Lord. It's the greatest gift you could ever receive. But it only brings great joy if you accept it. Will you accept God's gracious gift to you right now? Come, mommy. Come, daddy. Come, Agui. Come, Shosh. Come, my brother. Come, my sister. And receive God's gift to you right now. <laughs>